Hi, my name is Seth, and uh, I'm a werewolf. Hi, Hi Seth. Seth! I've been a werewolf for about three months now. I'm currently unemployed, and since the last full moon, I am homeless. I uh, killed my landlord. Viciously. You could have read about the papers. Uh, they said it was a mob hit, but totally wasn't. It was me. Hi. Supposedly the mob had these large dogs because there's bite marks and such. She was nice though, the landlord. I felt really bad about it, but I couldn't stay there anymore, partly because of the guilt and more because I really just didn't want to get caught. But now I need to find a place that can properly contain me. Maybe a dungeon, something with chains, some really thick walls, you know, maybe just all the above. So if any of you, or if you know someone that can hook me up with a place to live, that would, that would be great. And uh, also, I'm looking for a job because I'm unemployed, so if any of you can help me with that, that would be awesome. I used to work for the pound, but I got fired because they caught me eating the kibbles and uh, chasing the cats and helping the manager's leg and making advances on the Cocker Spaniels. Hey, Bob here. Vampire. Hi, Hi Bob. Bob. Hey. I've uh, been a vampire for about a uh, while. You may remember me from the history books and or Wikipedia. Robert the Invincible. Look it up. It's interesting. I'm uh, here to curb my cravings, you know? I've uh, been off the human blood for about uh, one, two... What am I, Count Von Count? Okay, it's been a day. I'm trying to pace myself. Is this a 12-step program? Hi, my, my name is... What? Uh, my name is... Who? My name is... Chigga Chigga Slim Shady. <laughs> I'm Nicodemus, but everybody calls me Nick. Hi, Hi Nicodemus. Nicodemus. I'm a scientist. I, I was working on a, on a product that removed carpet stains. Uh had one slight um side effect it, it removed the carpet i mean it was still there but you couldn't really tell why are you invisible i, I was gonna get to that pillock I, I i didn't see the carpet and i i tripped over it and one thing led to another and, and, and now i'm invisible worst origin ever i could kill you and you wouldn't even know it was me well now you're a suspect <laughs> You guys see that zombie? What a douche. I mean, how can you be afraid of something that waddles? I mean, have you ever seen a penguin and went, ah! And then you go, oh, it's so cute, I just want to pet it. But uh, vampires are way cuter than zombies, so ladies, if you want to pet something, we'll talk. I mean, what does that even mean? Speak English. Stop taking our jobs. Deadbeats. I mean, I don't pay taxes, but if I did, it would totally go to you walking on dads. And that's unfair. Or something. Anyway, I'm, I'm hoping to find people who are in similar situations to mine. Good luck. Thanks. I'm sorry if I seem a little nervous up here. Uh, I'm, I'm not used to public speaking. Uh, people tend to get kind of freaked out when voices just come out of nowhere. Especially at church. Uh, if there's anyone else invisible here, uh, please speak up because I uh, can't see you raising your hands. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I, I'm here. I came here to get help with my werewolf situation, sort of keep it in check. But I assume that's why all of us are here, you know, to get some help with our various supernatural issues. So that's 493-4215? Great. That's five numbers tonight. Knew this wouldn't be a wasted trip.
So I uh, stashed her in the trunk. So uh, welcome to our humble abode. As you can see, this is the uh, living dead room. It's a little joke I make because it's uh, the living room, but I'm not. Uh, over here is the dining area. Over there is the kitchen. Right through there is the bathroom. This is my room. Please knock. In fact, please leave me alone. That's your room, and down the hall there is uh, Nick's room. Who? Nick. Who? Me. Ah! Come on, you saw me at the meeting. No, he didn't. You're invisible. Oh, right. You're the ghost. He's the ghost. I'm not a ghost. How many times do I have to... Tell him. Tell him I'm not a ghost. He's, uh, not a ghost. See? I can touch things. And I have a pulse. Mm, sorry. So, it's my room, huh? I'm gonna go check on my moles. Yeah, that is your room. And, uh, that's your bed. Is that mole? I think it's algae. I got a third cousin who's a swamp monster. Not a blood relative. He married into the family ages ago. His wife died, but he still mooches off the old fam. There's more of you? I've got a brother. Oh. Anyway, uh, Swampy Crash is here sometimes. Uh, don't worry, we'll put him on the couch. And that should come out in the wash. In fact, that should probably go on the top of your list. List? Of chores. You do remember our agreement, right? Oh yeah, the list, the chores, yeah. Um, you know, I, just, I didn't think I was going to start right away. Well, that's a lazy attitude. Oh, right. Yeah, I'll, I'll get right on that. First, um... What's that in the corner? I wouldn't touch him. Okay, I'll do the chores and stuff, but I don't know if you're not going to bite me or something. I mean, how can I trust you? That's gross. I don't drink dudes. Strictly heterotarian. Besides werewolf, I don't want to go and catch lycanthropy. I generally don't drink folk with diseases. Unless they're hot. Can, can I get that in writing? Yeah, later. Anyway, here's what you need to do. First off, laundry, obviously. And uh, anything that needs to be done during the daylight, uh, shopping and so forth, uh, vacuuming, scrubbing the floors. Have you seen Cinderella? Ow! What was that? Oh, nothing. Uh, you might want to put a band-aid on that. Dusting. Not the aggro poop kind, the cleaning kind. But uh, try not to mess with Nick's molds. He's very sensitive when it comes to molds. Boy. I'm sorry, I didn't know. I, I, I didn't know. You knew, you flea ridden beast. Oh, and uh, you probably need to get a flea collar. Yeah, you might want to put that on the top of the list. My molds. My precious molds. Is that a flea in my mold? I know it might seem a little licky, but once you get past the smell, it should be smooth sailing. Um, about that whole mold thing, uh, I forgive you, but, uh, could you perchance fill this cup? With what? No. No! And be sure to get under the crust. You know what? I'm gonna make you a list. You go ahead and get started on what we were talking about. That's a good boy. I think he likes it here. Don't flush. Well, this isn't complete, but it should get you started. Thanks. No problem. So now that there are three people in the apartment, the grocery to resident ratio is way out of balance. So Nick and I are going to go to the store. You start on that list while we're gone. Good luck. Nick! Whoa. We're leaving! Fine! So, uh, did you see that really hot girl at the meeting? Who, the pyrokinetic? No, no, the, the blonde. Oh, what about her? I was thinking of calling her. 
So, why don't you? I mean, do you think I should? Do you think she'd go for that? I mean, isn't there supposed to be that whole three-day waiting period and whatnot? Since when do you care? Touche. What's the problem? I... I think I've forgotten the number. You didn't write it down? Well, no. I'm a vampire. What's that got to do with it? Aren't I supposed to have some kind of special vampire memory or something like that? <laughs> Where'd you get that idea? You forget my birthday. I don't forget it, I just ignore it. I remember your birthdays. Man, that chick was hot. Hey, do you think you could use your CSI abilities to figure it out? You know, cool science investigations? How exactly? You know, you study the evidence, pick up some brain waves, and then poof, the number. It doesn't work like that. Yeah, it does. I've seen the shows. I've seen the karaoke. You read me, and then we know the number. I'm a scientist, not a psychic. But what the hell am I living with you for? I could ask the same question. But you already know the answer, because you're a scientist. <sighs> well, what do you think we should do? Wow, you do know who we can call, right? <laughs> Hey kids, do you hate fleas? Yeah! Well, we've got something that kills them! Yay, murder! That's right, kids, it's a flea collar. So go ask your parents if you can buy one for your pet. Go! Now that they're out of the room, let's talk money. For the low, low price, of, you can get one flea collar in the color of your choosing. White! We have a special patented process involving cool science procedures which renders it the most effective product bearing our name. And it comes in all these different sizes. Small, medium, and werewolf. Just look at this happy customer. Wolf. Call today to get your cool science K9 debugging system today. Cool Science K9 debugging system is not sold in any stores or through any phone services. Product may cause cancer and or loss of extremities. Keep away from dogs and other mammals. Product may contain peanuts and traces of Cocker Spaniel. see your problem. Hmm. But you forgot? But don't you have that, uh... Oh, you don't? Huh. Well, hey, uh, try the host. No, the host. Uh, yeah, him. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm still on for poker next week. Okay, well, I, I gotta go. Kiss noise. Um, have you come from my soul? Uh, no. I live in the building. I'm your wacky neighbor. Can I borrow some sugar? Who are you? Where are my manners? I'm Reaper 1527, but you can call me Death. Death needs sugar? Death like coffee! Why are you talking that way? I thought you wanted me to. No, I don't want you to. Suit yourself, I'm easy. Uh, by the way, I'm Seth. Hey! Seth and Death! We're rhyme buddies! So, uh, sugar rhyme buddy? I, I don't, I don't know, I just moved in. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to give strangers stuff. I'm not a stranger. I'm a friend of Bob's. We go way back. I reaped his sister. Ah, okay. And, uh, you're still friends? Who do you think killed her? He was going through a phase. Bit evil he was. He grew out of it. Mostly. So, uh, sugar? I'm about to go to the laundromat, so help yourself. I've got a washing machine at my place. Well, I don't. I'm it. You could use mine. Ew! I don't want your used breath mint. Do yourself fine, Maisie. What was that? I'm knocking. It's polite. 
Come in! Where is he? Hello? I'm right here. Where is here? On the desk. Okay. Are you invisible? No, I'm a shapeshifter. Ah, I gotcha. Please, have a seat. All right, manners. Thank you. What can I do you for? Well, uh, we need some help. Well, that's why I'm hosting the Monsters Anonymous meetings, to help people with monsters. So, uh, this really hot chick... The pyrokinetic? No, no, the, the blonde. Ah, what about her? Well, uh, you wouldn't have to have her details, would you? That's strictly confidential. Monsters Anonymous, you know. Anonymous. Kind of the whole point. Yeah, but this is special circumstances. Ah, who said that? Come on, I was at the meeting. Ah, right, the ghost. <sighs> He's invisible. Right, 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 the scientist. Why are you guys still here? The problem? Right, right, right. What problem? The blonde. See, uh, she gave me her number, but I kind of forgot it. You didn't write it down? See, I... I had this vampire memory thing, only apparently I don't. You don't know how many times I've heard that. Enlighten us. Twelve. There were twelve people at that party, and I had to reap them all. And did I get compensated for it? No! It all counted as one job. I should have been paid for twelve. I wish there was a union or something. I would so go on strike. Yeah, I feel you. I've been having some problems myself lately, but I've been going to these meetings, and I Hey! We're talking about me. Wait your turn. Manners. No, I'm just saying that if you wanted to, you could go to these meetings. I mean, they're a lot of fun. Maybe we could go together. You mean, like a date? <laughs> no, no. <clears throat> it's just sort of a group meeting thing. I mean, I was, maybe you could tag along. This isn't like that intervention I went to, is it? Because that didn't end well. Nobody tells me what to drink or not drink. No, it's not an intervention. It's just group therapy. It's... Balderdash, Poppycock, and Hogwash. It's okay. You can tell me. I won't tell anyone. To be quite honest, I'm not entirely sure who you are talking about. There's more than a few blondes that attend these meetings. Can you describe her in better detail, like what her problem was? I don't know. I wasn't listening. I was too busy staring at her jugular. I can't help you. Please leave. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, she was she was tallish, or no wait, maybe she was short. Yeah, big jugular. I don't think he can help us, Bob. We should go. Fine. Boy, I'm thirsty. Ah, put me down! Put me down! Uh, I'm sorry. I thought you were the bear. Why would I be a bear? That doesn't even make sense. Whatever. Gentle. All right, manners. I think you may have killed him. He was fine. It's a big mix-up. I got the wrong guy. I ended up having to spend the whole weekend with him. It's more awkward than funny, really. They should be more efficient down at the agency. I'm so tired of it. So, how are you? Well, other than being a werewolf. You're a werewolf? Where's your flea collar? Everybody's making a fuss. I don't have fleas. Honest. Everybody's on my back about it all the time. I mean, if it's not you, it's Bob. He's like, go do this, go do that. Get a flea collar, get out of the crust. What crust? What does that even mean? And there's piles of freaking laundry everywhere. I don't think the guy has done laundry since he was sired. Everywhere. He wants me to do everything. Ugh. I am not his bitch. Let me get this straight. You live there rent free, right? And does he pay you? He like gives me an allowance. An allowance? I am his bitch. Well, that was a pointless trip. Right, um, we forgot to go to the store. Son of a... Now we'll just get Seth to do it. Where is he, anyway? I am not your bitch. 
Sorry to hear that. I'm my own person. I can do whatever I want. I'm not going to be your little butt monkey, and I'm not your bitch. Whatever. Did you do my laundry? Yes. Thanks, bitch. Did you do my laundry? You have laundry? Yeah, would you think I'm a nudist? I just kind of assumed. What kind of a person do you think I am? I wear clothes, they're just invisible. Well, how do you expect me to see them? The stains aren't invisible. Could you be a good bitch and pop off to the store for us? Didn't you hear my angry rant earlier about not being your bitch? No, I wasn't really listening. How about you just get us a pizza? You eat? Yes. Hello? Hey kids, do you like pizza? Yeah! Good! Because we have some. But it'll cost ya! Oh, how much? Well, that depends. What are your toppings? Call us now, and if we don't deliver within... Your pizza is free! Yay! Bankruptcy! All of our pizzas are hot and delicious. Just like our delivery boys. Meow. Doesn't he look scrumptious? Pizzas are not guaranteed to be hot and or delicious or even delivered and may contain traces of Cocker Spaniel. Ah, oh, son of a... Who ordered the garlic bread? Did you order the garlic bread? Yeah, why? Hello, vampire! Thanks a lot! The delivery guy got away! Now what am I supposed to eat? I like garlic bread! How would you like a silver bullet burrito? Well, how would you like a steak sandwich? I'd like a steak sandwich. Nick! What are you doing in my room? Collecting dandruff samples. That's it. I'm out of here. I can't take this anymore. He sure does an awful lot of storming, doesn't he? Bread. Thanks. So, the host was pretty much a dead end. Thank you very much. Any other bright ideas? Probably. Give me a second. Okay, here's one. Where do chicks like to go? My bedroom. Court? No. Think of a place where they can indulge in unnecessary consumerism. My bedroom? eBay? Wrong, but points for effort. Here's one last clue. Ah, screw it. It's the mall. So close. Sorry to be kind of distant lately, sis, but frankly, I need a place to stay. Can I crash on your couch? I threw out the couch. You know, after you peed all over it. Oh, right. Sorry about, sorry about that. I could sleep in a basket or something, like, like in the corner. Or a, or a rug. I could sleep on a rug. A rug would do just fine. Or I could sleep on the floor. No, I can't let you do that. Come on, Bethany, just let me stay here tonight. At least until I find someplace else to stay. I can't let you stay here until you've dealt with your problems. I'm trying to deal with my homeless problem at the moment. And I've been going to meetings. A support group. I'm trying to do better. Honest. You need to leave now. Would you get a cab? That's not fair. I get lonely. I can stay with you! Look! I have garlic bread! I love garlic bread! <laughs> okay, I would say let's split up, but you don't know what she looks like. I'm not sure you do. No, but I know her scent. Are you sure? This isn't like that vampire memory thing, is it? What vampire memory thing? Never mind. I have a question. Uh, I know you got more than just her number that night. Why don't you just look up one of the other girls? Because they didn't have that something special, you know? And I have high standards. So, what's important when looking for a woman? Besides local stalking laws? Uh-huh. Be positive. You have to be positive or they have to be positive? No, be positive. The blood type? There is a difference in flavor. Oh, and blondes. Why do I get the feeling that wacky hijinks are about to ensue? Because <sighs> I peed on her couch. Ah, makes sense. So, why are you here? Well, I figured you have a place and since we're around, buddies. Oh, no. No, no, no. I mean, I like you, but it's too soon in our relationship. I'm not ready for that kind of commitment. We should start off slow. 
movie, dinner, that kind of thing. You just don't start out proposing, you know? But I have no place else to go. You're all I have. Now you're just sounding desperate. I am. I'm just saying, be more subtle. Because right now you're kind of on the nose. Well, can I please just... I want to... Can I please just sleep with you? Look, you can't stay here. I don't have any food. I mean, I don't even have a fridge. And to be honest, I don't like fleas. I don't have fleas. Whatever. You know what, buddy? I think I know of a place you can stay. And they don't mind fleas. I am deeply disappointed at the severe lack of wacky hijinks. I mean, we didn't even get chased by security guards. Doesn't that always happen at malls? You should stop watching TV. Forever. Sacrilege. You're a vampire. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Life's not fair. I mean, I spend a good part of the night running around and for what? Nothing. Not even wacky hijinks. It, it, the girl is nowhere to be seen. She's more invisible than you are. That hurts. And I haven't eaten since yesterday. I was so hungry, I was about to eat a delivery boy. A dude. And I didn't even get that. And I can't find the girl, and I'm getting no help from more transparent ass. And... Where's the car? Son of a- we've lost the car! Why does this always happen to me? This never happens to you. How am I supposed to remember what happened to me all the other times that stuff didn't happen to me? It's not like I got some kind of special vampire memory thing. How could my life get any worse? Well, at least you're not dead. Oh, uh, sorry. I, I, I meant like the guy behind us. He's been following us since we left the mall. What is this? Star of the Dead? I think he's trying to tell us something. What do you want? Could you please enunciate? Speak English! Are you okay? He's dead. Yeah, but other than that, are you okay? What's this? Hey, that's her number! How'd you know, buddy? Lizzie! Her name's Lizzie! And is that our car over there? I think it is! Things are finally looking up! I'll be glad to let you stay. Hey, things are finally looking up! I'm about to eat supper. Would y'all like to join me? Oh, that would be lovely! I can hang. So, uh, Roger, how many dogs you have? I'm about a dozen. Oh, that's nice. This is awesome. This is just awesome. I, I know it's gonna work. Neat. <laughs> is that silverware? I'm sorry. Hello? Hey, kids, do you like eating? Yeah, we're not hungry. But I bet you don't like eating with your fingers. Yeah, we do. Of course you don't, which is why we at Cool Science have invented this revolutionary new eating system. Silverware! Yay, shark objects! Our Cool Science utensils utilize a cutting-edge, scientifically tested eating technology. Our forks have four points. You can use our silver product in many varying situations. Eating pasta. Eating soup. And killing werewolves. Oh. Buy today! Or buy tomorrow! Or buy today and tomorrow! Heck, buy every day! We've got lots! Please buy! Batteries not included. May cause death and or bleeding gums. Do not place a mouth keep away from children and cocker spaniels. Not available in spoon. I'm not on the clock right now. I'm sorry, what did you say? Is that silverware? Oh, silver yeah. werewolf. Yeah, let me go get the plastic ones. That's not my department. <sighs> okay, it is my department. Yeah, are you sure? Check the spelling. Uh-huh. Okay, and you're positive. <sighs> okay. Sorry, Roger. I guess you're going to have to find somewhere else to live. <sighs> So,
So, next Friday, Steakhouse, midnight. Sounds good. It's a date. See you then. So, how'd it go? Ah, son of a... Were you there the whole time? No, I just sat down. Horn, a guy? Went pretty well, I guess. We're going out for lunch. Is it true, love? Or lunch. You know, I think I may stay here after all. I mean, <laughs> I've been everywhere tonight. I've seen some things that can never be unseen, and I've realized this is truly the only place for me. Really, i try to find someplace else, but you guys are just gonna have to do for now. I mean, it may not be the best place. But? But what? It's not the best place. Oh, and I'm not gonna do all those chores. Okay, I, I actually kind of felt bad about that. I missed you, man. In fact, I, I got you a little present, Sam. I hope you like it. I bought it myself. It's a flea collar. Huh? Huh? For your, your fleas. I think he liked it. He was gone? I don't know. Hi. I'm Reaper1527, but you can call me Death. Hi, Hi Reaper1527. Well, uh... A friend of mine said I should come to this thing. I am deeply disappointed at the severe lack of refreshments. But after listening to you freaks, I feel better about myself. And I think I've come up with a solution to my problem. My problem, of course, being my dead-end job. I want to be an actor. <laughs> 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 I've learned many important things since the last meeting, like your phone number. I've also learned to write important things down, like your phone number. I've also learned that zombies aren't all that bad. They contribute many important things. Like your phone number. I've learned that apparently, flea collars cause skin lesions. Thanks, Bob! I feel really good coming in. I feel I feel like I can open up and people actually listen. I'm, I'm used to people not even noticing I'm there, but here it's totally different. You notice me! <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's interesting. Hey, uh, I just wanted to say I'm sorry about those things I said about you. You're an okay guy. I'd like to shake your hand. Oops, uh, you might want to see somebody about that. And I do not have fleas! Oh, it's my agent. Hey. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Cool. All right. Kay thinks bye. I don't have fleas. Can I have your preserved penis? Grr!